Okay guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, we're gonna be working on this thing again. We're gonna pull it around front. I moved the vet. Uh, I think we're gonna check this uh, speed control here. See what we can figure out with that thing. I'm gonna check the resistance on that. Uh, I might have to get into the batteries. I'll explain that to you later. So let's get in here and let's pull it around front. Okay, good test on the batteries here. I didn't charge it overnight, I just wanted to see. Uh, but technically you should charge these things anytime you park them, even if you park them for an hour. You should put them on the charger, so let's see if it'll move. Oh yeah, looks like our gauge is all the way up, so. I did unhook the uh, stupid brakes. I did unhook the backup beeper. But we'll check that and I'll show you what I'm talking about, these batteries. I gotta build a battery tray. I take the seat out because this thing will raise up more with the seat out of it. So. That's what it is. These things are like those switches. Oh, they call them pot boxes. Yeah, pot box. P O T B O X. They're like 50 bucks. Alright. We're here. Let me get you up on a stand and get my multi meter and we'll start doing some checking. Okay guys, so I've got my own meter here. I got this little guide here that's gonna tell me how to test this thing and I'm gonna tell you in case you need to test yours. Now, on this particular one, there's a white and black wire here. Okay, now remember the key is off. All right, of course it's in neutral. So. We're gonna unplug these two wires. You can't mix them up, they're white and black, all right? So now, we're gonna put our leads on here. This one will go into the black one, but I'll have to hold that. Now I'm gonna put this one in here. I'll show you what it says. Disconnect white and black lead wires from wire harness to speed uh, to speed switch under front body. Switch volt ohm meter to ohm scale capable of measuring one zero to a hundred ohms. Okay, we're gonna do that. Well, I've already done that, it's on 200. Let's turn it on here. Now we're going to check this. Uh, I'm trying, guys. Okay. Where'd the other one go? Come on. I'm going to check this. And it says. Zero to 50 ohms resistance is good. Greater than 50 ohms refer to pot switch adjustment. If adjustment does not correct, replace pot switch or speed switch assembly. Um, 
Now we're going to connect the leads, which it's reading nothing. I think I got it on there right. Which are already connected, okay, from the speed switch. Do not depress accelerator. Leave key in off position. Leave ohm meter leads connected to white and black leads. Speed switch. Switch ohm meter to scale capable of measuring up to 6,000 ohms. So we're going to go up to 20,000 ohms. Alright, now. Uh, measure 6,000 ohms. Slowly depress accelerator and monitor change. Now, I don't, I know you guys can't see that, but give me a second here. And... Hold up, guys. I'm on the wrong wire here. Hang on. Huh. <laughs> Okay, but let's turn that to 200. Nothing. Let's go to 20,000. And we're going to depress this pedal. Slowly. And it's doing nothing. Is my battery going dead in this thing? It worked yesterday, I just can't remember what the readings were. I'm on the wrong wire again. Hang on, guys. This one. There we go. Let's put it down to 200. 200 ohms. It's reading 58. It should be 50. It's reading 58.5. It should be 50. Greater than 50 ohms, or we may have to adjust the switch. Okay, now, let's put it up to 20 thousandths. And we're going to hook this up. Make sure I get the right one again here. Now we're going to slowly we're going to slowly bring this up it should be between 4500 wait a minute that's not reading right Should be between 4,500 and 5,000. Well, there's uh, 4,500. But what I'm going to do. What I want to do here, I'm going to record this because I want to go in and see see on my pedal. Okay. And then I'm going to come back out and review this. So hang tight. Okay, guys. So I'll show you what I was doing. This comes from your throttle. And when you push the throttle down, it pulls that down. Okay. And that's what we were measuring, the resistance of the silver box. That's a micro switch. I know it's good. Now this was reading when I checked it, so I knew it. Well, I figured it was good, but it was reading, so I thought, well, you know, um, I don't know what the numbers are, so that's when I looked this up. Okay, and it says, if rise in resistance is erratic or skips as pedal is depressed, replace speed switch, pop box assembly. If maximum resistance is less than or greater than 4,500 to 5,500 ohms, adjust pot switch to correct. 
And the only real adjustment is right here. I can move this down to one of the lower holes so it won't pull the switch down as far. This, if I adjust the cable, it actually will make it pull down farther. So, I wanna, I'm just gonna take this off of here. Let's take that apart and see if it needs cleaned or something. Um, all it is, is there's a bolt up here that goes through and there's a bolt down on the bottom that goes through. I'm gonna take them out we're going to pull that off there and we're going to check it. See if it's dirty or anything like that. Now, okay, here's what I, I found out more information on this thing. Now, her mom says she thinks this is an 05. All right. So, but she can't remember at all when, when they got it. They traded a Cadillac for it. And of course, it was in pretty good shape then. Uh, so let's see monkey and I've been together over six years uh, Of course they had it then and So I don't know how long they've had it so but Now she said this thing always did that when you would push it clear to the floor. It would just stop Okay, and she told me that one day one night they took it out for dinner her and her parents and they got in it you know they parked did their thing got in it and wouldn't it wouldn't run wouldn't do nothing just like it did on me here about a year and a half ago uh, she can't remember what it was or what her dad had done to it to to fix it but he fixed it but it still did the I don't think it's in limp mode because usually limp mode you can push that pedal all the way to the floor. It just goes really slow, like five to eight miles an hour-ish. Because this thing should run between 12 and 14. Okay, so, but ever since they got it, it had this issue. From day one that they've had it, it had this issue. They, like I said yesterday, they, you know, Monkey bought her parents brand new batteries put in here. They put all new batteries and cables in it then. And so I'm, and it's still done it. So I'm pretty sure that it's not in a battery issue, although I'm pretty sure some of the batteries are getting old, maybe even weak. But I did check this thing yesterday and it read good. I'll check it again, but it should be, you know, around 50 volts full charge. But I mean, for it just to stop running, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off there real quick. Like I said, it's that bolt right there, and then there's a bolt here on top and one on bottom. I'll unplug that, that uh, micro switch there. It looks like there's some screws I can take out, and we'll check the inside of that, see if it needs cleaned. take your cable off you might want to mark it whichever hole it was in but in this case we know it was clear on the outer hole so that'll be fine it looks like we can adjust this too right here kind of like a governor um, there's the micro switch all right 
take these screws out, see what happens. Okay, so what I've done is, I've got to take this top mounting plate off for that micro switch. I don't know if these are going to come off with it. And if they do, the switch will flip, just keep, it'll just flip around. Uh, I don't want that happening. So I just wired that switch up to this. So let's go ahead and start. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, so, let me get my magnetic tray before I lose something. Okay. Uh, these must be stainless steel. Uh-oh. The whole thing's turning. Uh, because it's the screws not sticking to the magnet so but the washer is so that's still going to help uh, okay let me get a pair of pliers and hold this so I don't break anything because this this is something I don't want to break. At least I can still move the thing around here, you know, so I don't want to break it to where it's not going to move. Okay, now let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can strip something out. Maybe. Maybe break this bolt off. I don't know. Now these are slotted holes. But I can see, I can see where, where that was. That's the adjustment for that switch, that micro switch there. <clears throat> Might have to speed you guys up on this. Hmm. There we go. I think she's coming now. Insert your own joke. Okay. That one's really tight, but you know, you got anytime you put any kind of steel inside aluminum, no, it doesn't rust, but it will like corrode together. All right, let's check these out. Nice, I think they're all the same screws, aren't they? Yeah, except these don't have a uh, these are more of a metal screw and they don't have a uh, washer on them. See, they're self-tappers. See the little drill bit on the end? So, a YouTuber that I follow and he follows me as well. We followed e we have followed each other for years. He goes by uh, a Redneck's Life. That's the name of his channel. Now these are sticking. These are metal. Um, he made a comment on yesterday's video about my batteries that I wouldn't have thought of in a million years. He said, you know, he suggested I look for refurbished batteries because. He said, you know, being down in Florida, there's probably, you know, all kinds of golf cart places, and there are. There's pretty much one on every corner. Not in this town, but they're all over the place, so I will check into that. So, thanks for that tip. I appreciate it. You guys remember that, too. So, all right. Okay, well, 
it's an actual potentiometer. Um, it's really, I don't want to take that clear apart. And I'm not going to. I don't have any deoxid or anything to spray down inside their contact cleaner. So, I'm not, no, I'm not going to, I, you can take these apart, but I'm not going to do that. If I had another one, I would, just to see if that would fix it. So what I'm probably going to do is try the, the next hole down and see what happens with that. Like I said, we may have to adjust this piece here. So, yeah, that's what, that's what holds them on. Just another screw inside there. Yeah, I'm not... Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Alright, so I'm going to put this back together, guys. Thought there might be a sweep. Uh, I think EasyGo calls it a wiper. I think they call it a wiper switch because it, like, wipes. Um, it's... It, it reminds me of the old controllers that you used to have. The pistol grip controllers for electric racetracks. I mean, it could be bad. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take that apart. So I'll try the adjustment first, and if that don't work, then I'll consider ordering one of these. They're anywhere from fifty to eighty dollars online. Yeah, like I found one for fifty-two, and then of course, look like the same exact company, just a different or same look like the same thing just branded differently you know so I don't know uh, if yeah if this if adjusting it don't work I will get another one but there could be other issues I mean but it being that it's done it even since it had new batteries in it I, I'm not thinking it's the batteries right now causing it just to stop like that if it was running slow or something I could see that but I really don't think that's what it is so let me get this put back together just these four screws and then the two on top like I said I know exactly where they need to be um, could be you know my controller itself in the cart I don't know let me get this back together I'll get it put back on, and instead of being on that outer hole, I'm going to put it on the next one to it, and we'll give that a shot. So real quick, if you ever have to change just this little micro switch, what you would do, trying to get you a shot in there with the guy over cutting something across the street. Okay, see that potentiometer, or the switch? So what you would do is you put your switch on and you loosen these two up and then all you do is slide it back up against here just till you hear it click. That's that's all there is to adjusting them. Okay guys. So Alright, put it in, hooked it up, checked it again, this is what I come up with. Okay, so, do I think it fixed it? I don't know, guys. We're gonna find out, though. I'll take it for a little, little ride here. <clears throat> I need a gear shift in here. since I lowered that down I'll have to adjust the pedal you know so that there's not a you know, gap in there All right, let's get it out here I haven't floored it yet so 
and no, it didn't take care of it. See? Now if I turn it off, turn it back on. Now we can go as long as I go easy with it. But if I put it to the floor, it just stops. So, all right. So it looks like, damn it. See, that's annoying as hell. Just coming up a little tiny edge of the road here. Nope. See, it's still, still not, even though it's reading right, green like it's good it's not I don't think all right so that didn't do it but dang put it back the way it was <clears throat> and uh, I don't know I'll do some more research do some more checking if that's it I don't have a problem with buying one but I don't want to buy a part I don't need Okay guys, so here's, I had to take it apart because I put it back together and nothing happened. See the tracks, whoops. See the tracks there? They're missing up around there and that's about where it would be when it shut off. Right about there. It's missing some right in there. So I've got it adjusted now to 42. It needs to be below 50. So I'm going to put that back together and give that a shot. And see what happens. I'm going to keep messing with it. All right, guys. So that's a wrap on that one. Um, yeah, that pop box is bad for sure. Um, so what I did was I took it off. And, you know, you seen what I did and everything. Adjusted it. was the same. So I took it off to adjust it according to the specs. And, I mean, it was it was crunchy. So, you know, kind of like a volume knob really is all it is. So, like, if you... We've all had that radio that you go to turn up or down and it crackles and stuff. That's what they do. So... Yeah, so I think that was a problem all along that they had with it. Um, the weird thing, I checked, those batteries are bulging. I checked every one of them batteries, and they're all at 50, at, um, the whole pack, all eight of them are coming up to 50 volts, and each battery is uh, six point, between 6.6 .6 volts and 6.8 volts. So the batteries are still okay, so I know it's not the batteries. You know, I know it's not that. <clears throat> um, it could be a controller itself. But I think that's that's a big problem of it. Because either way, it's going to need one of them. It's not... Uh, as soon as I put the, the ohm meter on it and tried to adjust it a little bit, it just it would go haywire. You know, it would go... Well, the last time I checked it, it was off camera before I took it apart. And... Um, when I barely moved, it was, it, it had jumped up to 70. So, and when I tried to adjust it, it jumped up to like 190 and down to 14. And 
then it would go just clear off the scale and just not even read so yeah it's a good thing i didn't take that thing somewhere because it was way on its way out because it got worse it used to be i could write it anywhere around here as long as i didn't go to the floor but now you can see it it doesn't even want to pull out of the yard well it didn't so i think that's what the problem is so anyway guys um that's that so i'll, I'll keep you posted i'm gonna see see if i can find one reasonable i was looking for a potentiometer and i looked them up and i can find them but for like 20 bucks but um everybody's out of stock and the only company that had it in stock okay it was going to cost 30 dollars to ship it and that's here in the united states to ship that little so i would have 50 some dollars in it i want to see if i can find that one i looked at i think it was around 50 bucks if you get one the actual one that goes into that it's 101 dollars i'm i don't want to do that so i'm going to do my research and yeah, I know. I'm going to do my research and see what I can come up with. And I'll keep you guys posted on that thing. And let you know what's going on it, with it here in a couple days. So, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. <laughs> you drive something in, you got to push it out. Makes sense, right? We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys, and take care. Hi. You are currently being recorded.